Hey everyone, the long-awaited contouring video is finally here. I'm going to be showing you today how I contour with powder. I can contour with cream also, but I'm going to show you how I contour with powder. The whole purpose of contouring is to bring out and recede certain areas of your face. So you want to highlight certain areas and then make other areas recede to adjust your face shape to your liking. Does that make sense? So on a lot of people, they like slimmer cheekbones, like a smaller jaw and a thinner nose. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do those things. I am very pale, so I have to do it really subtly or else I look like I'm like, you know, a little out there. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you want to learn how to contour for a super pale person, then just keep on watching. I've based up my face already with the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. This is in the shade 110 Porcelain. It's one of the foundations that is like true to my skin tone, so I just base myself out in a really thin layer of that. The reason I did that is because it's easier to blend a powder onto a surface. Like if you're trying to blend it in just to your skin, it's a little bit more difficult than blending it into something. Next, I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. This is in the shade Ultra Light. I just put a little bit on my hand there, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring out some features of my face and conceal at the exact same time. So I do like a two in one. So what I'm gonna do is place some underneath my eye and I just do it in a little stripe under my eye here and same with the other side. And I always do the sides of my nose to conceal some redness there and I always go on the base of my chin and I'm gonna do right here and down the bridge of my nose. So with this on, you can kind of see how I'm mapping out my face and how I'm going to bring out some of my features. Now I'm going to blend it in. I love blending it in with my beauty blender. This is like my go-to tool for everything. Underneath my eyes, I make sure that it almost goes in a triangular shape here. And I mean a triangle because I want to conceal all underneath my eyes, but I don't want to bring it down under here. I want it to kind of go along with my bottom lash line. I want to follow up all the way up here. With half my face done, you can already see that like my eye looks a lot more lifted because I cut that line up there, really lifts it out, and here around my nose, like I lost a lot of pigment. That is part of like the concealer part of it too, but it's also really enhancing, bringing out certain features of my face right now. Even if I'm not wearing foundation, I try to make it my daily mission to put concealer on those parts of my face that are going to bring out, and then I can contour to recede other parts of my face. Because I'm done working with cream and I'm gonna move on to actually contouring my face with a powder, I am gonna set this because it's easier to blend a powder onto a powder surface than to blend a powder onto a cream. So I'm gonna set it with my HD powder from NYX. I'm gonna talk about brushes for contouring really quickly. I have three brushes that I really love. This first one came with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I love this brush because it's literally the shape of what I want to get in here, and I love chiseling out my cheekbones with that. Another brush I really love is this one. It's from Sephora. I don't know if they make this anymore, but I love this brush because it's so small, compact, and you can really get that in the chisel there. So a brush like this is a great option. Another option if you just have a bunch of extra blush brushes running around, running around, laying around your place you can always go in with a blush brush like this this will work I always just like to pinch my brushes like this so you can really get in that chisel that's what I find is a key don't use a big brush do not use a powder brush like this because you're gonna get product where you do not need it unless you're actually bronzing your face you can use a, a brush like this but if you're trying to contour try and stay away from something like this I've grabbed two products here to show you one is actually kind of like a dupe for the other this is the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit. I love this kit because it is such a beautiful contouring shade. This color is perfect and it also comes with a highlighting powder. What I like about this kit is you can mix and match the colors. So you can lighten up the color by dipping your brush in here and then in here to lighten the color or else you can deepen the color by just using this. That's why I love this. This is the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit in the shade number two. The dupe for this that I have found is the NYX Matte Bronzer and this is in the shade 02 Deep. I know, deep is crazy, right? But when I hold these up to one another, they are almost, almost identical. This one is a little bit cooler than this one but they're as close as I'm gonna get. If you're looking for a nice affordable bronzer go grab this one it is matte and you want a matte if you're going to be contouring your cheeks. Today I'm going to be using the sculpting kit and I like to just take my hula brush dip it in here smash it into the lid just so the color gets all you know mixed up in there. So if you're having trouble finding where you're going to contour just squeeze your jaw. See how that comes more prominent there? Now, 
see that line we do not want to go anywhere underneath here this is territory you do not want to go into okay or else you're going to look like you have a beard do not go into that see where the top of my ear is we're going to follow that line i do not have anything on me right now nothing beauty blender with concealer on it i don't have anything on me okay we do not want to go below that line we want to go up we want to raise the cheekbone up so we want to blend it into kind of the hairline and then taper it off so I'm going to take my uh, bronzer on here and I'm just simply going to kind of lightly chisel in that line. See how I have a nice defined line now? Beautiful. Now what I do is I like to flick upward and I deposit more product closer to my hairline and then taper it off when I'm getting closer to my mouth. My rule of thumb is I really do not go closer than where my like edge of my eye is. I'm not going to bring it into my mouth. This area, you don't need to put bronzer in either. It's You don't need to. So see where I've ended it there? Kind of where it lines up with my eye this way. But if I look at you this way also, it lines up with my eye. So try and end it around this area. Don't. Just, just don't. So now that I have a base there, I can add more and more and more and more and more. And I always flick up. See how I'm leaving this really, really bare? And now it looks like I have a really high cheekbone like this. It's really coming out there, see? And then when I turn my head, it really looks like I have a full cheek and like a really defined face. My face looks a lot thinner. So around the temple area now, the temple is right here. This is where your temple is on your face. I don't usually contour a lot here. I mostly go like into my hairline up here. It's all dependent on your face shape though. If your face shape is different than mine, it's gonna look different. I have an oval face shape, so this is what I'm doing for an oval face shape. So I'm just gonna blend a little bit into my temple there and kind of bring it up into my hairline. I don't really go crazy with my forehead because my hair is always covering that, so. All right, now we're gonna do underneath the jaw and I'm gonna teach you a trick that's gonna change your life, okay? Instead of going like this and chiseling a line into your jaw, what you're gonna do is start and flick up. Okay, this is going to create a really soft line and make it look really natural and real, all right? So with product still on my brush, I'm just flicking up and it's just depositing that color where I need it the most on my jaw here. And if you want to minimize something, like right here, I want to take a little bit, I'm just going to lightly tap it there, give it a little rub, and then still flick up. See how that's really minimizing the size of my jaw now? If you have a really prominent jaw you want to get rid of that, just add a little bit more over here and then it's going to get rid of that for you. So see how it's nice and defined now? That's what we're going for. For my nose, I like using the Naked Basics for this and I like taking this color Naked 2 which is right here. I find that this is just the perfect ashy brown for my nose and I just take it on a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush will do if you have one like this or else if you just have a blending brush, either one will do. So what I do, I'm trying to make my nose look smaller. I'm trying to thin it out, right? So imagine you have like two little lines running like this. It's going to really make your nose look thinner. I don't want to start it from in here and bring it down here. I I want to make it look like it's coming from my brow bone all the way down. So I take my brush and I simply just tap on my nose to kind of get a guideline and make the line as vertical as I can. And then once I have that line, I'll show you before I do anything else. But see how I have that line there now? And it makes this side of my nose look a lot thinner. We're going to play with that. Now, it's a bit harsh right now. So what I like to do is sometimes just take my finger blend out, maybe take the brush, blend it out a little too. The first time you contour your nose, you're gonna be like, what's that? But honestly, no one's even gonna recognize it. To blend up into here and just taper it off. Give it a go with the beauty blender and that's half of my nose contoured. So looking at my face now, turning this way, you can see it's all really defined and refined. This side, kind of chubby, kind of whatever, you know, you can really tell the difference. Now for my highlight, I'm going to be taking it from this My Couture Like a Diamond Trio. You get a beautiful, beautiful highlight in here, and it is called Crystal Cove, and I love this highlight. These are just highlighting papers, so convenient. I love these things. So what I do is I just take one of these little papers, I wrap it around my pointer finger, and where you want to highlight is on the top of your cheekbone and anywhere that you really want to stand out, okay? So for me, on the top of my cheekbone, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow. This is where I'm going to put the shimmer, all right? Because I want this to really pop. So I'm going to run this on the top of my cheekbone. See how that gives me a nice gleam there? Now those areas of my face, whenever I turn and do like a certain angle, 
you're really going to get a beautiful sheen there and that's also going to make your cheek pop. I'm quickly also going to run a little bit of blush on here because blush is part of it. I don't like doing the whole like this or like this. I kind of piece it together. So this is where my contour goes, my blush goes right here, and then my highlight. It's all like a little puzzle. So I kind of just wedge my blush right in between here. Nice and subtle. So that is half of my face done versus the other half empty. And I just topped off my lips with the City Lips Lip Plumping uh, Advanced Formula. I love this thing. It is in the shade Sangria. And it takes about 20 seconds for it to kick in. But like I already feel my lips like tingling. It's really nice. That is my contouring video. If you want a contouring with a cream video, thumbs up this video so I know that you guys want that. I can totally do that for you like an extreme contouring. This is my everyday contouring. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I explained myself well. Just work with your face shape and you'll figure out how to do it. It's all practice. Practice makes perfect. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Bailey Beauty XO and I'll see you guys later. Bye.